Blues, Unicorn Pears, Phoenix Tail Feathers, and the Hat Strings and Dragons. Uh, no two Ornavand Wands are the same, just as no two Unicorns, Dragons, or Phoenixes are fantasy. Of course, you will never get such good results with another Wizard's Wand. So, let's begin! It's ah, wand of hawthorn. Now, mm -hmm. ah, thirteen and a half inches long, reasonably springy. Ah, yes, a dragon hat string cord. Let's try it out, shall we? If you would, please ring that bell above your head just one time by pointing your wand at it, concentrate, and give it a wave. Very good, yes! <laughs> oh. oh my, no, 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 Interesting. Quite what I had in mind, but very interesting. No, this is not your one. Not to worry, though, your one is here somewhere. We shall find it. You see, the best results must always come where there is the strongest affinity between wizard. Uh, Ah, there it is. The wand of hazel. Hmm? Now, let's see here. Thirteen inches long, yes, flexible, swishy. Ah, <coughs> unicorn hair cord. Now, if you would please bring one of my wand boxes down to this desk here by pointing your wand at it, concentrate, and say, Descendo. That's it! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it at all, is it? <laughs> that's all right, though. You're doing well. We are getting closer. <laughs> Repel! <laughs> Very good, yes. Of course, it has always been clear to those of us that study wand lore uh, that the wand chooses the wizard. through those doors and thank you for selecting 